In AutoCAD LT 2010, several features have been improved to make adding annotations to your drawings easier and more intuitive. The Find command now has several new buttons to make use of items in the results list. A zoom button locates the highlighted text object. You can also zoom to an item on the list by double-clicking it. The next two buttons enable you to quickly create a selection set that includes only the items you've selected or the entire results list. Each segment of a multi-leader can now be selected by pressing the control key and left clicking. Once selected, you can use the properties palette to modify the properties of that segment. For multi-leaders with M-text, you can now specify the horizontal or vertical attachment of the leader to the text. Also, a new button next to the Text Style option directly launches the Text Style Manager, enabling you to create and modify text styles without exiting the Multi-Leader Style dialog box. For Multi-Leaders with Blocks, a new option enables you to specify the scale of the block you're using. The block scale is also displayed as a Multi-Leader property in the Properties palette. Text options in Dimension Styles have been enhanced as well. On the Text tab of the Dimension Styles Manager, there's a new option under Vertical Text Placement to put text below the dimension line. Also in Text Placement, you can specify a view direction, either left to right or right to left. The Properties palette has also been updated to reflect these new options. The Primary and Alternate Units tabs include a new subunit control under the suppression of leading zeros. With this option, you can choose to show dimension values less than 1 as larger numbers with a different suffix. For example, if your main drawing unit was meters, you could specify a subunit factor of 100 and a suffix of CM. This would display any dimension value less than 1 meter as centimeters. For example, 0.75 meters would display as 75 centimeters. These new subunit properties are also included in the Properties palette. Two more annotation improvements are to the Hatch command. First, when you're trying to create a hatch and the boundary isn't closed, AutoCAD LT now attempts to show you, with small red circles, where the problem may have occurred. Finally, you now have the ability to modify the boundary of a non-associative hatch. Even if a hatch object isn't associated with a boundary, you can still select it and use grips to dynamically change its shape.